So xenoestrogens are chemicals and herbs that mimic estrogen and contribute to fibrocystic breast disease. So I'd like to so show you a teaser video from Frontline PBS about xenoestrogens. Let's roll the video. Six years ago, marine biologists became alarmed at reports of massive fish kills on the rivers in this region. Every year, smallmouth bass were being decimated by some mysterious problem. Spring and fall, hundreds of fish would be found floating in the water, belly up. So you see this I caught up with Vicki right Blazer, mm -hmm. a fish pathologist with the U.S. Geological really Survey who was trying to figure out why the fish were dying. What do we got here? So here we have this large discolored area in the yeah. liver. Yeah. And then you see all these little white spots. Here's another totally discolored area. And that's a signal of some, some bigger problem. Yes, when we see a really high prevalence in a population, that indicates there's some problem going on in that water. And when Blazer dug deeper, she found a surprise. One of the major and most interesting findings was intersex in the male bass. When we look at the male gonads or testes, what we find is immature eggs within the male testes. So you got sort of feminization of male fish. Is that a big alarming finding in marine biology, aquatic biology? Yes, and that has certainly attracted a lot of concern and attention. Scientific studies have linked abnormal mutations in marine creatures, like intersex, to exposure to chemical compounds that mimic or imitate natural hormones in the body. These chemicals are called endocrine disruptors. Endocrine disruptors are very, very potent chemicals at infinitesimally small quantification. I mean, you're talking about parts per million or parts per billion. They interrupt the normal way in which the body controls everything from growth and development to thyroid function to reproductive function to estrogen levels, testosterone levels. So they're very, very important, and they are a, a deep concern because there are so many of them now. There are thousands of these worrisome chemicals that have gotten into the environment, and one reason is that they're part of everything we do. The list of things that bring these organic pollutants into our bodies is a long list. And it ranges from home care products, soaps, toothpaste, cleaning agents in the household, to things we put on our lawns, the things that we use all the time. The plastic industry, the rubber industry, uh, lubricants, fuels, uh, the highways. When you see scientists like Vicki Blazer, Cutting open fish, finding intersex uh, in the male fish, seeing high levels of fish kills, seeing immune systems disrupted, seeing other damage to the fish. Is that a warning to you, potentially, about human health? Oh, absolutely. Uh, and the warning, not, not just from the smallmouth bass in the Potomac, but uh, from amphibians all across the country. You have frogs with six legs, hermaphroditic frogs, uh, male frogs with ovaries female frogs with male uh, genitalia. These are the canaries, the modern canary in the mine, that we haven't been playing, uh, paying enough attention to. Poisoned Waters. Watch online or on air beginning April 21st. So xenoestrogens are not only synthetic chemicals, but they are natural herbs as well. Here is a page from our free Android app about endometriosis that you can download for free. Xenoestrogens cause both endometriosis and fibrocystic breast disease. Xenoestrogens can be natural and organic as well. Pediatric endocrinologist Block, MD, in 2006 had five young boys with gynecomastia, otherwise known as man boobs. These boys had normal blood hormone tests. He found that their parents had been giving them topical tea tree oil and lavender oil. And so he stopped the parents giving them the oils. After four months, the man boobs were gone. 
Lavender tea tree oil in the test tube made breast cancer cells grow. So, as soon as Block took away the tea tree oil, the man boobs disappeared. Elimination of the lavender tea tree oil eliminated man boobs in about four months. So lavender and tea tree oil are two examples of strong estrogen mimicking herbs. Even though they are natural and organic, they will still exacerbate fibrocystic breast disease because these herbs act like estrogen. I'd like to leave you with one last thought. Remember in the pharmacy there are nicoderm patches and estrogen patches? The big pharmaceutical companies found that administering drugs through the skin is 10 times more potent than oral administration because anything on the skin goes directly into the body. But anything eaten is first pass 90% metabolized by the liver. So strangely, what you put on the skin, scalp, or lips is 10 times worse than what you eat. So, laundry detergent, lipstick, chapstick, lotion is much more important than what you eat. So our company just doesn't sell nutritional supplements. We offer the complete solution to reduce your fibrocystic breast disease. Our goal for you is just to be normal without taking anything at all. And by changing the products you put on the skin, and to a lesser degree, maybe your diet, our fibrocystic breast disease patients can become normal. We're really happy with our product and solution. I urge you to visit the website nobreastcyst.com and learn more about it yourself. And come visit us at womhoo.com. We have some very nice videos. Thank you for coming. I hope you enjoyed this as much as we enjoy hearing from women that enjoy pain-free breasts. Thank you. This is Dr. Eckhart.